Let us now start the logical sequence. This is writing a language. And let us read this part, logical sequence. Logical sequence questions on the SAT ask you to determine where to properly place sentences within paragraphs and occasionally where to properly place paragraph within a passage. And by the way, that's very rare. But you cannot deny it, ya Hajar. We saw many a time uh, that we need to place or properly place uh, a, a paragraph before or after other paragraph in the passage. But again, it's very rare. These expression of ideas questions test your ability to analyze sentences and determine how to most logically organize what the paragraph. Okay, let us go through this one. It's easy to tell when a logical sequence question is coming up. They have a couple of what very distinctive characteristics. The main ones are, this is how we're going to see the questions. All of the sentences in a paragraph will have, we're going to have numbers in brackets. The answer choices are generally in the form of what before, after sentence one, two, three, or before. The answer choices will be listed in ascending sentence order. We will see it right now. What are the two types of logical sequence questions? Number one, the two types of logical sequence questions. Number one, placing existing sentences. In one of these questions, you will be asked to move a sentence that already exists in the paragraph. This question will always take the form of. To make this paragraph most logical, sentence four should be placed where it is now, after, after, or after, before, or it could be that way. Placing new sentences. The typical logical sequence questions will ask you to place a new sentence into the paragraph. These questions will generally look like one of the following options. The writer wants to add the following sentence to the paragraph, and that's the new sentence. And here's what the number of what? The number of sentences that you should place your new sentence before or after. A new sentence question could also be asked like this. What is the most logical place in the paragraph to add the following what? To add the following sentence or and we have got a new sentence here, Ahmad, and we have got after, after, or after, before. It doesn't matter. And the number of what? And the number of uh, uh, sentence. Let us now go to um, another type of questions. To achieve a specific goal. And um, what the specific goal? They are going to write it down. The writer wants to add the following sentence. And there is going to be a sentence here. And these are the answer what choices. And the question is, the sentence would most logically be placed where? The right what? Location or the right spot. Ma'aya shabab. Then the order of sentences. Let us go for looking for clues. In order to see what kind of clues can help us solve logical sequence questions, let us start by what? Taking a look at this short paragraph. Would you start reading it, please? Silently read it. Jakarta is on the forefront of the world's battle with climate change. To deal with this danger, and I want you to circle this danger, Jakarta has made plans to build two dams south of the city in the province of Jawa Barat. It's, circle the pronoun it's, it's monsoon season runs from October to May, making flooding a real danger. And the city itself is actually sinking 5 to 10 centimeters a year. Additionally, circle the transition word, additionally, the Netherlands has pledged, promised, $4 million to build a dike, a wall around Jakarta Bay. Mister, what's going on here? As we look for clues, we should try to focus on what does it make sense. Number one, this danger. That's number one. Number two, it's. Number three, the transition word. What's left here is the unexplained by the paragraph. This one is unexplained by the paragraph. There are three main clues that will help us. Remember, there are three main clues that will help us, all of which pop up in the paragraph.
Number one, new information. Sentence number two, and let us change the color here and do it this way. To deal with this danger, Jakarta has made plans to build dams south of the, the city, south of the city in the province of Jawawat Barat. This danger we circle it, but there is no danger in the previous sentence. On the SAT, this plus noun should always be preceded by another mention of the noun. So you cannot use this in a beginning of a sentence or that plus, of course, noun. And it was not preceded by what? The noun that refers to this. Should it come later? Yes, it should come later. And that's my prediction. The other thing is unexplained pronouns like it's. Can you tell me it's here refers to what? In terms of grammar, Ya Abdullah, Ya Rida, Ya Zahwa, in terms of grammar, it's, it should refer to what? To the province of Jawa Barat, because it's very close to it. Fabinisbali, Ya Binti, it is unexplained pronoun. Ala Rah, Binni, it's, it should what? Refer to what, Ya Binti, to Jakarta. Fine. The other thing is what? Transition words additionally here. If you have got a transition word like that, additionally, like furthermore, like therefore, we need to make sure that there is actually a transition there. Time. What is the thing before additionally and what is the thing after additionally? Are they related? Is it a sort of addition or no? We will find out that it is not. The other thing is what? is the meaning. Ibn Andi Shabab fee three main clues. What are the three main clues? New information, this danger, which is not uh, preceded by a noun that refers to it, unexplained pronouns and transition words. If you could, if you are aware of this, you have got no problem with what? With the what? With the with the logic sequence of what? Of the sentences. It's monsoon season runs from October to May, making flooding real danger, and the city is actually sinking. This has to do with what? This has to do with threats of the environment, which is very close to what, ya shabab? Huh? Jakarta is on the forefront of the world's battle with climate change. Yeah, and climate change and climate and threats of the environment, they are very close. And the pronoun it, it should refer to what? It should refer to Jakarta. You got the point? Let us go to the other page here. This one. This is the question. To make this paragraph most logical, sentence three should be placed. Where is the sentence three? Yes, go ahead. After sentence number one. Question number one here. Question number one here, ya shabab, عندي بقى إيه? The writer wants to add the following sentence to the paragraph. إيه the following sentence, Hajar? After finding the classroom and introducing myself to the instructor, I took a seat near the front of the room and got out of my notepad, waiting for you. What is your prediction? Are you going to go for before sentence one? No. Akid la'a. Type after sentence one. Although I was nervous, being the oldest person, I signed up for a night class in the school's professional studies program. After finding the classroom and introducing myself, I took a seat near the front of the room. I got out of my notepad. Since I knew very little about copy editing, do you think it's uh, it's close or no? I think C. So hey, let C. Since I knew very little about copy editing, I decided to take a course that would cover the basics as well as the information on how to freelance. After finding the classroom and introducing myself to the instructor, I took a seat near the front room and got out my notepad. As the class began to fill up the anxiety, my anxiety what disappeared. My classmates, 
uh, around my age seem to be just as nervous as I was. And I think that makes more sense. Anybody is still confused about that sentence? Do you still, uh, you can tell like, uh, teacher, why shouldn't I go after sentence one or after sentence three? Maybe. Sentence two, the copy editing has to be very close to what to that sentence, right? So it's either before sentence two, or after sentence one, or after sentence two. So what makes more sense? We should what? Use our logic. You understand my point, right?